The Point Cook Homestead Ghost Tour with Lantern Ghost Tours has one of their highest levels of paranormal activity. So bring along your friends for a night and an experience that you won't forget. Ken, tell us about the Point Cook Homestead Ghost Tour. What can we experience? Well, we'll explore the lives of the Churnside family. We talk about some of the um, incidents that have happened in a very large period between um, 1850 to about 1940, 1950 or thereabouts. Lots of things have happened. Everything from um, ghostly happen happenings, mysterious um, disappearances, air crashes and um, bodies washed up on the beach, everything in between. Amazing. And are we inside and outside on this? We tour? are inside and out. We let people um, explore the outsides. We tell a few stories. We invite them into the buildings. Two buildings, 150 years old or more. One is considered a little bit haunted. One is considered very haunted. So welcome to the um, Churnside Racing Stables. Now this building was built in about 1850 odd, 1853 or thereabouts. It was built to house the um, racehorses. They were trying to win a Melbourne Cup. They got this foal. They hand reared it in the house of the um, worker who um, volunteered to raise it and he grew up to become a horse by the name of Newminster. So they entered him in the cup but three days before the race they came into the stable which is next door. They found him kicking and writhing on the floor. He'd been poisoned and a few people mentioned they saw the stable hand called Tommy and he was seen to be talking to a shady looking character who was known to be a bookmaker from Werribee Racecourse. So Tommy's in the bad books and sadly a couple of days later, Tommy's found hanging at the end of this building on a, on a makeshift noose. So I'll ask a question now, if anyone in the building, please cross the rods and let us know you're in the building with us, please. <laughs> one of the rooms is one of the most active rooms in the building. I like bringing people here first and I'll introduce you to the spirit that is in this room. His name is Maxwell. Now Maxwell, we believe, is about nine or ten, maybe a little bit younger, not much older. Maxwell, can you use one or both the rods and point to where you are in this room now, please? Oh, okay, I have all over ten. He's more than likely standing beside or behind you. Just held them and didn't do anything and then all over Goosebumps, they moved, obviously they moved. Um, and then, yeah, he well and truly whacked my knee to the point I'm like, I'm supposed to be holding this still and that hurts. Now, if you're interested in learning a bit about Victoria's history and maybe even meeting a few people who were a part of it, then make sure you book a tour with Lantern Ghost Tours.